a massive overhaul of the military locations around Chinaris, and a big animation update is coming. Let me walk you through what has just been added to the patch running on Experimental and the big things to come soon to Daisy. The latest patch that went out today on Experimental features a big update on military locations. We have a total of 8 new military camps around Chinaris in various new places and major changes to existing ones, giving the map a whole new look and feel on how the map is played. Previously, the vast majority of PvP was either on the coast, uh, at Mosquito Military Base or at the Northwest Airfield. That is going to change in this update. Mishkino has been significantly slimmed down in size to only a fraction of its former glory. Same goes for the Northwest Airfield. Vibor Military Compound and Starry Sabor remain somewhat unchanged, but Tissi has received a big influx of loot spawning buildings and structures. If you want to strike it big in the loot department, you definitely want to be going to Tissi as your end game location. The other 8 new military camps around Chinaris are found west of Kamenka on the very southwest side of the map, which also features a cool new The Walking Dead style car pile up on the road leading up to the camp. Star Roy, one of the bigger camps added, has a set of 5 new tents spawning juicy loot just north of the actual town. A set of smaller military camps are added to the Topolka Dam, east of Gvozno, uh, Torovo, east of Gorka and north of Chernogorsk. Plus a smaller evacuation camp just west of Lopatino quite far into the woods. Here's a map marking all the added or changed military locations around the map. Like I said, the majority of the PvP was either happening on the coast, at Mishkila military base or at the northwest airfield. So this update is going to change all that. It's going to give a lot more life to the rest of the map too. A bunch more spawns along the coast of Chinaris will become more viable to start out with and you should see less suicides on those locations because you will have a lot more military locations to visit just before you want to head up north and get your big boy high roller stuff. So we should be seeing a lot more random encounters all across the map and from my experience playing 061 I have seen a lot more players randomly in the woods as they go from one location to another. But the real end game should be at Tissi military base, which now has the highest concentration of loot spawning buildings and structures. And I really feel like this update is going to bring a lot of changes to how the map is played, because this was also the way it was played on the mod. You spawn on the coast, you get some crappy stuff, and if you want to get your, your good stuff, you have to move inland. So you get like a, a character progression throughout the map. Which has been a very successful way of structuring the gameplay on the mod. So now on the coast, players will mostly meet other fresh spawns and low geared players. And in the northwest corner of the map, players will mostly meet other highly geared players. Super exciting stuff happening in the latest 061 patch. But of course the question will be, when will this patch hit stable? Now obviously most of these experimental patches will hit stable as soon as they are actually somewhat stable. From my experience, the patch is running very, very well on experimental. Everything is a lot more responsive. The hotbar is so much more responsive. Uh, when you press the button, it'll immediately do whatever you want it to do. Uh, you can press a button to vault over a fence and it'll immediately vault over that fence. The wolves are now really fast and furious and very dangerous to deal with. I've already been chased by a total number of 20 at once because I already had a pack chasing me and then I found another pack that also wanted my, my blood. So eventually they actually were a pack of 20, I counted them, and uh, you know, they were actually really close to murdering me. Uh, they are faster than players right now, so they will catch up and they will hit you in the back. They are actually a threat. Uh, also, CQB is now a lot more fair because player deaths are mostly instant. Uh, the ridiculous desync that you saw in previous patches is gone. Trade kills are a lot less common in close quarter combat. And I think overall this patch would be more than ready for a stable release. Super exciting stuff already happening on Experimental. So what's that animation update you were talking about, Silo? Well, in the latest status report, we got a taste of what the new animation system is going to look like. It might not seem like such a big deal, but let me tell you why it really, really is. Daisy has always had two main problems, the low frame rate and the clunky character controls. 
So the first has already been fixed in 060, but now the second one is also getting taken care of. The reason why characters have always felt clunky to play is because old and the old animation system was still in place. Within the old animation system, you could only play one animation at a time. So you would get a queue of animations whilst you're playing your character and it would feel slow and clunky. But now with this new system, it can play multiple animations at once. Uh, your torso and your arms can move independently from your legs, for example. You can drink and eat whilst walking and you can stop animations more easily, which is a really important one because that means no more getting killed because you are stuck in an animation. And on top of that, it'll also bring a new camera. Now keep in mind the animation stuff I was just talking about will not be in 061, the new patch coming to stable. This will be released in a future patch. Big changes coming to Chinaris in the next patch and the next big step in Daisy development is being taken. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Leave a like if it actually was, it really helps. Like it really, really helps. And be sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss any future updates. And I will see you in the next one. All right, put your hands up, motherfucker. Right now, put your hands up. Hands up, bitch. I'm not kidding. Yes, put your fucking hands up.